Shalom. Want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Chakwadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Muslim and every well. And peace, blessing, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. It's the brother Yuanathan coming with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. Lord's willing, this lesson is edifying. And um, grab with this one first. You know, basically, I wanted to bring out how, you know, our people are truly, you know, lost, man. And, you know, they are, what, sadist children, what the scripture says, because, you know, during the times that we are in right now, you know, when they're trying to vaccinate, you know, trying to vaccinate everyone, you know, our people don't never, you know, ask, you know, the next, you know, they don't never ask why, you know, they just get it or they will just do it just like that one uh, Jake woman, you know, I don't care what's in it. I'm going to just stick it in my arm, you know, but, you know, these are the same people that have done nothing but wickedness, you know, toward the so-called black Latinos and Native Americans, man. So that's just to show you, you know, how how lost our people is, man. And, you know, how truly, you know, we need Yahweh Shemar Shah, man, to come save us and come deliver us about this mess, man. Because, you know, never in time they've had to beat over the bush, you know, for Maxine, man. If a Maxine is supposed to... Um, if a Maxine is supposed to help and heal and to stop the prevention of getting, you know, whatever virus is out there, then people would want, people should want to come get it. You know, people should want to get the vaccination so they should uh, feel safe or feel secure, you know, but that's not what they're doing. You know, they're giving out incentives, you know, um, persuading people to get it, you know, and on this side, truly, we got your how about some mouth shot, man. We don't need to, you know, jab up, stick nothing in our arm, man. We, you know, we believe and have faith that your how about some mouth shot is watching over us and is going to keep us, um, you know, keep us in good health. So we're not in the spirit of these, you know, other people trying to get vaccinated. But again, you know, the scripture says to never trust thine enemy. And with, with that being said, that if they coming out with something, you know, we're not going to just be jump in front of the line, be the uh, guinea pigs to get it. No, because we know Esau's track record. Esau, the so-called white man. We know their track. Uh, we know their track record. We know the history of wrongdoings that these people have done. So we're not going to, you know, jump uh, in front of the line and go take it, you know. But these two thirds, two thirds of our people aren't in that same spirit, man, because what? Let me get first priest up. This is, um, or if not this one, grab that whole sail. Salaki, bear with me. This is Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. Yahweh, I will also forget thy children. You know, it says that uh, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, Yahweh, Yahshua. You're not supposed to be uh, getting jabbed up. And we know that, you know, before in the know, you know, you would have to, you know, under Esau's um, Esau's government and Esau's rules, you would have to get, you know, vaccinated to go uh, to school when you were younger. But coming in the know, that's off, man. You know, but it says that my people are, are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You know, they, you know, they don't want to take the extra step to see you know, what's really going on, 
You know, they'll rather just, you know, listen and comply. And I'm not speaking on complying as in, you know, um, you know, for say if a cop, you know, has you. Not that, you know, if a cop tells you to do some, not that uh, complying. The complying, what I mean is, you know, just, oh, take this Maxine and they just go do it without, you know, doing the extra step in research, man. Because, again, if this was to truly, you know, to truly help the people, why are they offering so much incentives? Why are they telling you, oh, you're going to get this, you're going to get that, you're going to get this? Because people aren't truly taking it. Back then, you know, for whichever vaccination, it wasn't like that, man. But um, what you see on the screen is it says free Krispy Kreme donuts, popcorn, and even marijuana. Businesses pile on more perks for getting vaccinated. You know, there's never been a time where, you know, not only, you know, they're giving you, you know, free donuts ain't nothing, you know, popcorn, but they're giving you marijuana. You know, that's when you should have raised your eyebrow and be like, something is fishy going on because, you know, that just shows you that, you know, Esau Edom knows you, man. Knows you like, you know, everyone, you know, likes donuts. But marijuana, that just shows you that they're really trying to push y'all to take this this uh, this mess. But we could read on to it. And then I got another source as well. It says, getting America vaccinated will go a long way toward helping the country return in some sort of normal now business now some businesses are doing their part to sweeten the pot that's right just like um the analogy they bring out is the same to you know you know before they slaughter the pig what do they do you know they fatten him up you know just fatten you up and that's what that's what they doing with you people man just fatten you up and getting y'all ready for the slaughter that's about to uh happen you know, giving y'all all these free incentives, man. Ain't never been, man. Esau Edom don't give out nothing for free, man. You always got to pay him back, you know. Um, It says Krispy Kreme Donuts is offering anyone with a proof of a crown vaccination a free donut a day for the rest of the year. You know, um, and Cleveland uh is giving out free popcorn through the end of April to moviegoers with a vaccination card and a market garden brewery is offering 10 cent beers to the to the first 2021 adults who bring their completed card the greenhouse of Wald Lake a marijuana dispensary in Wald Lake Michigan is giving anyone over the age of 21 with proof of vaccination a free pre roll joint you know, so look at all those, you know, look at all those incentives, man, and many much more, you know, uh, Kroger is giving out $100 in store credit, um, Publix is giving their associates 125 they're doing all this, you know, you know, but it's supposed to be helping you, you know, that's, isn't that why they made it, you know, so things don't add up, man. But our people, so-called black, Latinos, and Native Americans, don't ask any questions. Don't seek to know why is this going on. Don't, you know, don't inquire. They just, what, comply. They just, you know, they it's, they want to be sheep, you know, because what? The Lord put the spirit on them because two-thirds of our people, you know, are, are wicked. You know, they have to pay. And we know only a remnant, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be, uh, um, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashah is going to be, you know, uh, woke to these things, you know, they're not going to be in that, that, um, that deep sleep, you know, but two thirds of our people will, because they have to, uh, pay for their wickedness, man, you know, unless, unless they repent. So, um, the next precept, Next precept I want to bring up is Romans. Uh, this is Romans. I'm going to start uh, this chapter 11. Start at verse 7. It says, uh, 
what then? Israel have not attained that is which he seeketh for, but the election hath attained it, and the rest were blinded. Again, you know, the elect, the remnant, you know, the you know, the one third of the nation of Israel have obtained it, man. You know, through the spirit of Yahabashim Yahshah, you know, they come in, you know, they have come back unto the Lord to the best of their abilities, man, you know, seeking righteousness. You know, that one third of the nation of Israel, the elect, but it says the rest were blinded. You know, who is the rest? You know, that's two thirds of the nation of Israel. Verse eight, according as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. You know, and this is what, what this, um, and, and who's in this spirit right now? You know, the, 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 the two thirds of our people, man, you know, because the Lord, ultimately it's the Lord, you know, because, you know, sometimes we get down, uh, you know, sometimes we be down like, damn, they can't get it. All these, um, you know, all this evidence, you know, all the precepts and they just truly don't get it. But it's the Lord that's giving them the, the, the spirit of slumber, man, you know. Uh, that they should not uh, see and ears that they should not hear. You know, it's the Lord that give them the spirit of slumber. So at the end of the day, we have to, you know, we have to understand that, you know, it's ultimately the Lord that's blocking these people's ears and blocking their vision to see this. Um, okay, but this the next one I had. The next article I had, and this one is, it says the Denver bar requires a Crown 19 vaccine for dining customers slash employees. So, you know, this is the beginning, man. Like, you know, our people truly don't see what's about to transpire. You know, they don't realize this is all leading unto what? Revelation 13 verse 16, the MOB. You know, they're not realizing that. This is all leading to a one world currency. They don't understand that all this is, you know, all this is leading up to what Esau's, you know, new world order, you know, which is he's going to try to establish, you know, now, you know, in Denver, you know, a bar requires the, the crown 19 vaccine, you know, more people are taking it, but this is going to be the new norm, man. This is going to be the new norm. You know, it's going to be required to have your uh, your vaccination when you go to the store. It's going to be required to have your um your vaccination when you want to go to the gym, when you want to go to school. Everywhere is going to be a requirement, man. And soon it's going to be a mandatory uh, vaccination, man. This is all leading to what? You know, because what we already got them to take this vaccine. So they're going to take that chip next and we're going to make it mandatory. You know, this is all, you know, a social programming, man. You know, this is, you know, but our people don't see it, man. You know, they just feel like this is how the world is transitioning. They feel like this is what's supposed to happen, man. But it's it, it's going to be um, a remnant out of those people, man. That's not going to be confined by the the um, the laws are going to be confined by the, the sayings of Esau, man. And it's gonna, st they're gonna st uh, stand fast and hold firm until what, you know, what how about Shem Yal Shah, you know, they're gonna be, you know, steadfast, unmovable, until what your how about Shem Yal Shah has says unto them, man, you know what the scriptures has said unto them. Uh, all right, you know, and this is um the next. This is uh, Isaiah. Bear with me one second. This is Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 10. And it reads, it says, For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. Of uh, Salakia. For the Lord hath poured out unto you the spirit of deep sleep and hath closed your eyes. The prophets and the rulers and the seers Hath he covered? Uh, let's 
So lock your, that's not the one. So lock your, forgive me. That's, wanted that one, but it's another one. Uh, all right, so lock your, this is um, Isaiah chapter six, verse 10. And it reads, make the people, so like you make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, understand with their heart and convert and be healed, you know? So again, you know, we understand through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim these scriptures that at the end of the day, the Lord has to set up, you know, where... You know, two thirds of our people and, you know, majority of our people, you know, are going to get it. You know why? Because the Lord, you know, has made the heart of this people fat, man, and makes their ears heavy and he shut their eyes, man. You know, so um, really can't be, um, you know, we're supposed to tell our people their transgressions and tell their people to come back. But at the end of the day, if the Lord has it set up in that way, then that's how it's supposed to be set up. Because you can't tell me that, you know, you're seeing all, you know, all these things that are backing up. All these things are going to lead to what? The MOB and all this stuff. But, you know, you're still in that spirit and trusting Esau, Edom, you know, so that you know, that's just how the Lord got it set up. But, you know. This is a bar in Denver that requires a Crown 19 vaccination, man. And this is truly going to be the beginning. So in this lesson, I just wanted to bring out that, you know, all these things in the news are leading up to what? You know, and it even says above that women, those are under 40, are likely to have side effects. You know, so all these stuff are, you know, leading up to what? But our people are still in the spirit and in the mindset of trusting Esau, Edom, and, you know, not researching or not, you know, not, you know, making their calling and election sure, you know, they're in the spirit of, you know, hey, whatever happens, happens, we're going to trust Esau, then so be it, man, you know, but we, at least we know, you know, at least we know, and the Lord has revealed it unto us through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah, you know, so wanted to bring that out. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, or Kach I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Muslim every well. And peace, blessing, and salutations to the whole field. Let's gather broad. Till next time, Shalom and a